Nate's going to be there. And uh, I do think even though there's maybe a size discrepancy and a strength discrepancy, uh, I think Nate Diaz could surprise people. I'm contractually prevented from betting on it, but I think Nate Diaz is a live underdog come August 5th. Let's see what type of physical condition Nate's in. Um, see if also Jake could adjust to that pressure that we all know Nate could put. And then it's boxing, right? So, you know, you can always clinch and stuff, but you can't really, like, saw with the grappling, like how some people do with Nate. So Nate might be able to put on more combinations, more flurry, step on the gas pedal, more stay in Jake's face. And if he gets off early to that and Nate is making Jake run at his pace, it's going to be a problem for Jake, you know? Also, the same note, Jake's been doing boxing. Jake's been training, competing in boxing. Jake's more geared for boxing right now, I would say, than Nate Diaz. Maybe something special could happen. He could, like, stop him, too. He could walk into a shot he doesn't see because it is boxing. I, 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 I would love to see Nate win this fight, but I just don't see it happening. I don't see it happening. Uh, I think Jake has is, is solidified himself as a professional athlete. He looked great his last fight. Um, even though he lost it, I think he did really well against a professional boxer. Um, you know, the cardio was good. I mean, the guys trained like a real athlete. So you got to tip their hats off to the guys. And they're making money. Yep. They're making mad money. So I don't know. I, I think Jake's got it. You could see the edge naturally going towards Jake, even though he might not be as seasoned and as uh, skilled. But size does matter. And on a short version of things, I think the longer the fight goes, I think you're going to start to see Nate come on a little bit more. But Nate's going to have to weather an early storm from a younger guy who's going to be trying to stay long, utilize that reach advantage. I I'm pretty sure he has a reach advantage going to this, or it's relatively equal. Uh, I think Nate does have some pretty long arms. But again, you're talking about the pop from the punches of Jake versus the volume of Nate. And that could be the difference. I think it's kind of hard to count Jake out of this one. But it would be good for the MMA world for Nate to get the dub. Everybody wants to see Nate win. I want to see Nate win. Nate won. <laughs> he beat the machine. Good man. Right? Go get paid. Jump in that squared circle and and, and, and go box. Um, you want to do more than that, go do it. We want to see the McGregor fight too. That would be fun. McGregor, I think, only has one or two fights on his contract left. Imagine he's a free agent and they do it outside the UFC. You're telling me they wouldn't sell out? They don't need a promotion. They don't need to give their money up to anybody. Why would they? They'll sell out no matter what. I think, you know, Diaz is a he's a bloody zombie. You like, know, hit him loads of times and he'll just keep getting up and, you know, walking towards you, throwing a million punches. Uh, and that can be very, very uh, tiring for anybody. Um, the likeliness is, though, he gets knocked down a few times. So, and if they, if it goes to a decision because he's been knocked down, you know, it looks like it's going to lean like Jake Paul's way. Unless uh, he gets really overwhelmed. He might knock him down a few times. He gets really overwhelmed, tires out, because I don't think his fitness is the greatest um, when, I'm talking Jake Paul here, when he gets slightly deeper into the rounds. Um, so after about three and four, he started, he, he can see a, a massive dip in his, you know, timing and stuff. Um I think if he gets massively overwhelmed, he could probably end up, you know, getting knocked out himself. And I think that's mm -hmm. that it could potentially go that way as well. But if he's smart enough and keeps his distance and just lands a couple of clean punches, he'll probably win on decision. Nate Diaz, Nate Diaz is he's a smart cat, man. I know he gets a lot of stuff for being a little, you know, kind of little gangster like, but no, he's a really smart human. I can see him uh I can see him taking out Jake Paul just based on being there with high level fighters you know what i mean like i just think nate, nate diaz's volume will be very very problematic for a guy like jake paul so i think he's smart i think he i think after this nate diaz after this jake paul fight i think he comes back and i think he fights connor once again that'll be huge we need to